Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell from Notebooks.com and I'm inside iPhoto here. What I want to do is show you how to export a picture that will maintain all of the edits that you have. So the first thing you want to do is open a file. You can get one over here in one of the events. Uh, this is one from uh, Charles Woodson from the Super Bowl. And then what you need to do is go down here, do an edit. Let's say, for example, we just want to crop this. Uh, we're going to get rid of most of this. We just want the picture of the player himself. So we edit that. Hit done. Then maybe we want to enhance it just a little bit. Um, give it an effect. Maybe a uh, turn this into a black and white photo with a little bit of edge blur. Anyway, you get the idea. Now we've done our edit. Now what we need to do is go up here where you have this little uh, title of the uh, library that you're in, hit the button so that it'll go back, and then with the photo selected, now I could have 20 or 30 photos selected if I wanted, but I'm just going to select this one, I'll hit the file button up here, and choose export. And you'll have this export dialog box pop up. Now the key problem is, when most people do it, by default, it's selected as full size. And what that really means is not full size, but original photo. I wish I put, I, uh, Apple had called that selection original photo, but they didn't. They called it full size instead. And there's the confusion. So what you want to do is pick a different size. Let's say we'll pick large. We're going to do it as a JPEG. You could do original format. You could do a current format. Make it a, a TIFF or a PNG file. But we'll select JPEG. Now we want this to be the the high, a real high one, but not the maximum. And then you could include things like the title and keywords and the location information in the metadata. That's where you get the GPS. And then down here you could get the, the uh, file name that you wanted to use. Now we could use uh, the title of the file. We could use the file name itself. Uh, if we had more than one file, we could pick sequential. And then down here we could type, you know, photos... And that would go before it, and like if you'd have photos one, photos two, that sort of thing. But we will, we'll, excuse me, we will go back here and use the file name. Then you just hit the export, select a, pl a place to put it, uh, maybe title it something special, save as uh, Wood Woodson SBXLV, and hit OK. And as a result, that photo is now exported. If we go down into Finder, open it up, get our uh, pictures, and we will see the Woodson file will open it up in preview, and notice that it does have the changes. You get the idea, that's what you need to do in order to export a photo uh, that saves, uh, that keeps all of the edits that you put in it. The key point is going into that export and choosing this option right here and changing it off of the full size option. This has been Kevin Purcell with a helpful tip for iPhoto for notebooks.com. Thanks for watching.